All right, up next, you guys like watching these videos. Uh, this is new acquisitions time. Uh, this is probably covering the last three weeks or so. So you know how much I like currency, so we're going to start out with an 1896 $1 educational. Probably one of my most favorite designs out there. Uh, of course, this is the more affordable of the, the $1, $2, and $5 educationals. So you got, um, let's see, you got Washington, D.C. in the background, and you got the um, the Constitution right on that book. So it's they call it educational because you have the, the teacher teaching history is what they call it. All right. So this one was a nice pretty penny. And, um, again, one of my favorites. It's a silver certificate. So if you can imagine having like 10 of these in your wallet back in the day, you know, you pull one out and you get yourself a silver dollar. But I think I would gladly take this one over a common date Morgan any day. Okay, so here's the reverse. You have Mrs. Washington and you have Mr. Washington flanking the beautiful one right down the middle. Man, that's beautiful. Check out the vignette on this. Uh, one of the fanciest and probably why... They sell for so much money, and we could kind of thank Pawn Stars, the TV show, for this because uh, someone came in on one of the episodes and sold a couple educationals and some other notes. Um, so this series has definitely picked up some steam. So there's the 1896. Cherry picked myself a nice, cheap um, Civil War token. Uh, this is a J.L. Agins and Company. Uh, they're in Newark, New Jersey, and he sold newspapers. This one grades out at AU58 Brown. It's an R3, so it's a little bit higher rarity, but it's not too rare. You could find these out there. This one grades real nice. It's got a nice brown. All right, so this is a uh, J.L. Agins newspaper store card. Pretty nice. Picked up a really nice high grade. 1936 nickel. Um, been looking for a really nice one for the typeset, and this is um, this is what's going to go in there. And uh, I would venture to guess it's about a 66, 67. And there's reverse. Almost looks proof like, but it's lacking some of the matte finish uh, that usually goes along with that. All right, so that's the uh, 36. Picked up a really nice Isabella quarter, commemorative, 1893. This one's got some beautiful toning. Again, for the typeset upgrade, I, I may get this slabbed here in the near future, so I'll share the results on that as soon as it comes back. There is a reverse. These were sold and given away. or They were, they were sold. They were never given away, so I'll, I'll take that back. Um, back when um, Chicago was hosting the Columbian Exposition. So you've seen the Columbian Expo half dollars, which are plentiful out there. Uh, the Isabella Quarter was a higher upgrade souvenir buy, of course, and these things are going for tons of money in the higher grades. Hard to say what this one will grade at. If you look at the luster, there's a little bit of a break in front of the um, Isabella's profile which would suggest this is either a low mint state grade or an AU, like a 58. All right, so that's what this one looks like. And I put I put in uh, one of these rigid holders, you know, as a way of protecting it. And the final piece, how about a $10 Indian head gold piece? This is a 1916S, lower mintage. I think there was 123,000 produced. So it's not a huge common date, but it's a common date um, price. So I paid about how much you would buy, like let's say 1932, which uh, they've made uh, hundreds of thousands of. All right, so that's a 1916. That's the obverse. One of my favorites. Okay. And there's the reverse. You see the mint mark right here to the left of 10. So it's right there where you get to the arrowheads. 
Nice luster, but it's like an AU type coin. Because you could see the wear on the high spots. Um, typically, it's not going to be a nice, bright, shiny gold. It's going to be more of a duller gray. It's really easy to pick pick out the, the wear spots on a gold coin than it is silver. So this concludes my new pickups. Sorry for the shaky camera. Uh, I still haven't bought my stand yet. Which, you know, I'm probably uh, procrastinating on that. But, um, you know, I, I want to get back to doing videos and showing you the new stuff, providing first-rate information, sometimes. And, uh, you know, just being a part of the hobby the best I can. Thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.